Hi there, welcome to Max Modded Skyrim. We are level 41, we're in the Soul Karen. Uh, see all those white markers? Those are what we're going to get done in this episode. I'm not a huge fan of the Soul Karen. I think I've said that once or twice. So, a couple of disclaimers. Change the difficulty level here to novice because the secrets and things that I'm hoping to just kind of reveal, quote unquote, if you're coming to this video, just to try to get the answers to a solution to a Soul Karen problem. The problem is that this exists. <laughs> um, the difficulty isn't that you have to fight things, because obviously that's what you have to do. So I don't want to spend any more time than necessary. All right, there are a number of different things that look like this with the purple swirly. I figured out that that one is just a healing pool, so it like replenishes you if you need it. And then there's another one that looks a little bit different. And those are transporters. So, I was always a little confused about that because... <laughs> Why do they look so similar? Just Bethesda fucking with you, I guess. So there you go, secret number one. So I'm gonna try to get through this as fast as possible. Um, okay, so disclaimer one, number one, it's on novice. Disclaimer number two, and one of the other reasons I put it on novice is I tried to do this in real time and just actually figure this out all by myself. It took me for fucking ever. So like an hour and a half we were in the soul care and nobody wants that. This sucked. So that's another reason I'm making it novice is I want to show all the secrets to the soul care. I don't know why they keep calling them secrets. That sounds so stupid. Um, but not be stuck in here for four hours. So that's, I'm gonna walk through the, these bad guys just kind of a little bit like their butter. The main thing I'm trying to show here is just where everything is and what you're actually trying to do in here, like this. Okay, and like I said, um, I did have myself solving this in real time the first time, which is why it took me an hour and a half, so obviously. Okay, so that's where you need to go to get the soul essence, that what's-her-face touch. Here's one of the pages <laughs> of Jib Jab's quest to find his book. <laughs> um, all right, where's the next marker? So a little bit different than most of the ways I've played in the past where you're seeing to kind of figure it out. So I feel like I've already been in Soul Care way, way longer than I ever wanted to be, but shit, I've had this game in this DLC for 11 or 12 years. It seems reasonable <laughs> that I would know the answers to all of these questions I've been wondering, so I really wanted to figure that out and then put this in video with all of those answers. So another thing I always worried about when I was in here before like I've only been a circle once or twice. Is up until this episode, or I guess the three-hour episode that I am now shortening to a more reasonable one. I never knew what these green things were. These green orbs are how you open those gates. Makes sense. You have to have a cursor on the crossbow, because otherwise, fuck. Stupid. Thank you. And there are always two of them. And their proximity differs based on the gate you are at. And I didn't ever want to come in here because it looks like this gem is killing you. But the reality is, is even if it's sucking life from you like it's doing right now, it only takes you down to like 25%. Alright. So another thing that I figured out is these Reaper gem fragments are a part of a quest that's not even mentioned. So we'll get to that. There are three of them scattered around. In general... Is someone there? It's hard for there to be walkthroughs on the locations of where Jib Jab's manuscript are because they're slightly randomized. So like the general area is revealed, 
but internet guides sometimes won't tell you the precise location and get all 10 of them right because they're in different spots. So I figured that out too. <laughs> but a general rule of thumb is if there's kind of an interesting area, it's it usually has something in it. And that's, <laughs> I mean, that's probably not too surprising, right? But there's just so many bad guys. So that's why I'm gonna just stick with Who's there? novice just to get through the soul carrot here. Just fighting a thousand of these on legendary would take for a fucking arrow. Not doing that. Alright, so I mentioned all the markers. I was talking about Jib Jab's manuscripts. <laughs> Probably. Jar Jar. We call him Jar Jar. Um. So, since this is ultra modded, obviously the easiest solution is to just get a mod that tells you where they are all, all are. There's a Berezaya marker mod, and there's a Jib Jab marker mod. So, that's why I have so many white. I mean, this is this guy on Novice. Imagine me fighting him on Legendary. We'd be here for 20 minutes. Here's another example of if there's a big structure, it's probably a good idea to look around because there's always going to be something that you want. All right, here's page two out of ten. I mean, they're just spread around all over the place. So anyway, I was just saying, there's a mod that puts these on your actual map because you can't find a guide that gets it right. And finding them without this mod is completely asinine. Like, maybe it's possible. I tried, and ultimately I gave up because I was like, this is so stupid. They're impossible to see. I mean, at least the crimson roots are red. Right, these things blend into the background. They're really hard to see. See, so that's just a Healy. And those look somewhat similar. Uh, did I get what I wanted in there? I didn't actually pick it up. Stupid. <laughs> Thank you. So dumb. All right. Oh my god. Alright. Can't remember if there's in this one or not. I mean, there's at least a chest in here, probably. And some baddies. Another Reaper Gem Fragment, so... Alright, we need three of those. And those don't show up on... Any quest marker that I was able to find. I'm not even sure there's a... Um... Mo mod that does it. So you just... And it's an unmarked quest. It doesn't even tell you about it. I guess you could kind of hope to unravel it by accidentally picking one up. And then if you find the Reaper's Lair, which even if you know what you're looking for is relatively hard to find. Um, there's a little dish or bowl or offering, appar <laughs> offering apparatus. And if you're observant enough to notice, oh my god, 2,000. If you're observant enough to notice that when you activate that bowl, one of your gem fragments goes out. 
I guess just through process of elimination or trial and error, you could ultimately determine that you need three of them for something to happen. And that brings me to my second disclaimer slash admission, which is after having this thing for 11 or 12 years and not getting to the bottom of all the quests, I didn't feel bad about looking on Google at least a little bit. Actually, I didn't look on, I looked on AI. <laughs> I asked AI um, about all the shit that I had to figure out with Soul Karen. And surprisingly, even Gemini co-pilots and ChatGPT's answers were all slightly different. <laughs> I'll say it like this. You're supposed to find that without the marker? It's ridiculous. I mean, the crimson roots would at least be making that noise, giving you a color and visual cue, but those pages, it's pretty stupid. Uh, I mean, I guess they're all this way. I still need one more gem fragment. Where the fuck is that? Uh, I think it's in this, uh, let's see, where's, okay, here's the other big problem, which is, is it's completely too easy to get discombobulated in this place. So, I also gave myself a little bit of a break and gave myself permission to fly around because <laughs> the bird's eye view actually completely helps a lot. Um, let's see, I'm probably flying over some, but as I was spending that hour and a half, two hours in here, I did determine where the other gem fragment was, and that's in this big building way over here. So before we forget, since they don't show up on the markers, let's go get it. And it's in this castle area. Is this the one that I already got? With the two green things that I unlocked? Did I already lock this one? Hey, I'm not very good at flying. <laughs> not very good at much of anything. I mean, there's like a 12 second delay from the button you push and whether she decides to continue flying or not. It's kind of asinine. Finding the gem fragment is a little bit more of a pain in the ass. Because you don't have the markers. I mean, it's like seriously just a matter of exploring. And exploring the Soul Cairn sucks, so why would you do that? Uh, let's see, nope, I already did that one too. All these buildings look the same! It's like you're in goddamn suburbia! I have asked mine. Um, I think the third one is actually here, if I remember. The clouds, the sky, it's all wrong. Uh, let's see. Me no Judy, me no Amy aim. Okay. It's always surprising to me that they can <laughs> put those two green orbs in close proximity to one another and they're still remarkably hard to f find. It's pear. But like this area in Legendary? Forget about it. That. Especially since fly is the same button as shout for some reason. Fuck off. All right, where's this matching one? Here it is. Oh look, I hit it without the cross bar. It's a miracle. What was I trying to open? I don't even remember. Oh yeah. Uh, 
800, 600. So the source Karen is kind of split in half by a big wall. And all three of the gem fragments are on the north side of the wall. So I still need to find one. That's enough! Okay, another thing about the Soul Cairn is that its day and night cycle is different. So it gets darker during the AM and then starts getting lighter again during the PM. So as I was exploring around, I just started doing the opposite of what I do in Tamriel, which is I started just wanting to be awake or flying around when I could see. All right, where the fuck is this other fragment? I mean, there it is. Okay, good. I mean, that's a little lame, but at the other side of the end of the day, just trying to show you how to do this without losing your fucking mind. All right. Um, so I have to finish off the markers, but I think over here we're sort of... I mean, you just get lost so easy. It, I mean, it's not fun, actually. Is this... Okay, that's where the bone keeper is, the second person. Which means... Is this the reaper's house? Yeah, all right. So here's where the reaper lives, in there. <clears throat> Never actually done this part, so even during my trial, I figured out how to do it conceptually. Whoops. But I haven't actually seen him or fought him. So even though I'm novice for this outside, I'm gonna change it to legendary when we go into that door. So it's slightly less cheating than cheating. <laughs> this receptacle. <laughs> Should have known that. Um, so that's where you put the gem fragments if you've collected three of them that are sprinkled around on the north side of the soul cairn. And I guess they don't come alive until you do whatever's about to happen. And that's what we're going to find out right now. Ah. Oh, good. I got to fight all these guys. Plus. Oh, that's going to be fun. Are they kind of coming back to life? All right. <laughs> Boom. Good. I mean, there's. I don't even remember where he died. Somewhere around here, right? Oh, God. 
It would be asinine if I couldn't find his remains. <laughs> when my Dramora dies, it always freaks me out. Seriously, where did he die? Ah, Reaper's Bane. Like a LOTD collectible, though that's cool. Can I retake these fragments? Mm, no. All right, so that's the unmarked quest of the Reaper. Okay, there's also Ardvark's skull, which should be one of these markers. That horse head. I have to return that. Oh, another mystery of Skullcarron. Are these lightning rods that appear? I don't know how many there are. Maybe five? And it's, you don't really understand what they're for either. But if there's one, if the lightning rod is out, it means you haven't activated it yet. I was thinking that you had to try to get all of them together to like shoot lightning and then it would conjure up some massive boss or something, but that's overthinking it. So you do just use it, you place a soul gem and it does lightning for sure, but it just kind of attracts one or two bad guys and they're each independent of one another. So you don't have to worry about trying to get all of them. And it's nothing more than just giving you something to fight. So that's that's that. Where's this one? Um Uh, what the fuck? Well, look what we have here. Someone with flesh on their bones. So this guy also, it's sort of a quest. It's a collect quest where you go around getting Let's just say soul husks or something. Guy, who turned out to work for a whole coven of necromancers. How in the name of Zenithar was I to know the ingredients were phony? Do I look like someone that would double cross a necromancer? You got it. Horse, wagon, and all. I used to be one of the best traders in High Rock, you know. Now people would track me down just to see what I had for sale. Very f And what exactly are you going to pay me with? Take a look around. I'll tell you what. I appreciate what you're trying to do, so I'll play along. There's no need to make Soul Karen longer. Talk faster. Soul husks. Okay, so yeah. Say 25 of them, and you can rummage through what was left on my cart. Okay, so in my long playthrough, the odds and ends I've gathered over the years. Tell me what you're looking for, uh, and maybe we can make a deal if you have the husks. Right. So I did this in the one that I didn't no record or upload. No well, I recorded it, but it was way too fucking long to edit. To <laughs> so I was just like, huh? I'm gonna do the quick version of that playthrough. Um, but I did do that, and he asks you. After you get 25, which isn't hard, it's just kind of stupid. It's just a pain in the ass to collect 25 of them. Um, did, I, did I remember to change it back to novice? I hope so. <laughs> Can't remember. Um. <laughs> well, I mean, why do the crosshairs show up sometimes and sometimes they don't? 
because I get confused between crossbow and crosshair, just like you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so that's how you open those gates. I think I mentioned that. Oh, uh, here's Bloodsbane, which is another collectible. That's nice. Petty still gems are so petty. Well, what the fuck? I love it. I went through all the rigor more of getting that mod so that I could solve this fucking thing, and there's a bug. Retarded. <laughs> Mentally challenged. God. Seriously, though. <laughs> Seriously, it was in the bucket? That's asinine. <laughs> Fuck off, I'm dinosaur. That's so stupid. All right. Yeah, so that little thing that looks like a beehive right there, those are the soul husks. So if you collect 25 of those, you go talk to that guy, and he's like, do you want an armor or a weapon or a staff or blah, 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 but they all suck compared to what you already have by the time you're here, so it's really, really a huge waste of your time. Okay, have I gotten all of them that are... Did I actually pick that one up, or did I pull another Dova? Most people usually buy me a drink first. Oh, my God. Oh no, it's literally on the other side of that wall to that window. That's kind of asinine too. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's it's not asinine when you have the markers, but super asinine if you don't, because then you don't even get the joke. By the time you found we're around the wall, you'd be like, I don't even get the fact that they were so close to one another. I mean, finding these without the mod, since they're randomized, that's not even fun. See, like, this is an example of one that isn't... This is actually a, tr a transporter one. Well, you have to know that, I guess. Go. Maybe it's not. <laughs> what do I know? Oh, see. It is. It just waits to do it for a hundred years. See, that's stupid too! Last one. Where's my damn horse head? Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, this is close to the stairs you come in. This is like basically the first one. I'll try to help you figure out this green puzzle. Crosshair. Crossbow. Stupid. See, it actually puts one of the pages that you need behind the puzzle. Was there something you wanted? Yeah, close the door behind you. Um. If only we had two pages and a skull. The secrets of the Elder Scroll will be I mean, they kind of cram three of them pretty close together right here, didn't they? There's something in a dick behind me. One more and the skull. Uh-huh. 240 pages. No chest there. What was that? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, even on novice, these assholes still just freeze you. They're a pain in the ass. Alright. Last page, I think. Can't get anything on novice. Last one. Awesome. Return to jib jab. Perfect. All right. So we are returning. Oh my God! Go. Returning the pages to him. And the skull to what's his butt? Those are both on the other side. Yeah, so see, it's kind of split in half by this big wall here. And that helps a lot, actually, because it's so disorienting running around in here. Once you know there's a north side and a south side, it's way easier not to get lost. And all the soul fragments, the gem fragments that you need for the Reaper, they're all on this north side. And from what I was able to tell from just now completing the manuscript problem in the first longer time when I was figuring all of this shit out <laughs> in collaboration with Google and AI, um, is that the manuscript pages seem to be pretty well distributed. I think it's four to six, so I think there's four on the interim side and six on this side seems to be the, what's happening and then just chests I mean if you see a big structure like that they're worth going inside and exploring because there are chests in there and then the green globy keys I was never quite able to figure out what these gaseous fissures were on the floor here so I guess in order for it to be 100% secrets revealed. <laughs> I'll have to look for the comment section for that mystery, because I don't know what it is. All right, dude. Here's your head. <laughs> His soul is free. I can feel it. He's such a loyal beast. Here, I'll teach you how to call him to you. Oh, yeah? He'll help you get around this wretched place. But I'm sure he'd be much happier someplace sunnier. See, Arbok Skull. I hope I can still put that in the museum as a replica. Never had a huge amount of confidence that that works. Okay. Stop milking it, dude. I love when I have something right in my eye. Yeah, I like getting your skull pierced. Uh, oh, did we pass by Jib Jab? Yep. Alright. Well, let's see. Really? He gave me a horse? Maybe. Um, it doesn't seem like he did. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. It's pretty cool, actually. All right. It's almost as cool as Sophia's or Serana's. Take that, Serana. Where the hell is Serana? Oh my God, is she missing again? She's the highest maintenance follower. Actually, she's probably waiting to have a conversation, <laughs> right? That's what usually what happens when she stops following me and she wants to say something. I wouldn't be surprised if she actually wanted to talk in the soul care and I just want to get out of here. You did it. You have all of my pages. Here's all the pages. Finally. I never thought I'd see these again. These pages meant the world to me. Thank you. Oh, look out. Like, actual gratitude? That's really rare. Now, volume two begins. Oh, hell no. What else? <laughs> I'll be off. Are you kidding me? Where's my, where's my prize? <laughs> Bullshit. Oh, Here, I, I want you to have these before you go. All right. A pristine copy of my first volume. Only one in print, actually. Well, that's how Kinko's works, dude. Take this as well. Seeing as St. Jib has ascended to pure spiritual form, I won't need it any longer. 
Huh? All right, what is it? St. Jib Jub's Opus, Locket of St. Jib Jub. <laughs> Here lives. Huh? Ugh, useless. Return to Tamriel. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, yeah. Where is she? All right, Soul Karen, don't let the door hit you on the way out. So over this place. But I feel like. <laughs> I feel like I know everything about it now. I'm like almost every other time I've been here where I'm like, I just want to get out of there. It's just not very, it's not a fun place to be in. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why that is. Jesus, maybe because this horse runs around like he's fucking drunk. <laughs> Great. I was wondering if these things came back from the dead. Since they're already dead, you would think that they wouldn't, but yeah, they did. side, I guess. Whew, woof. That's all the side quests. Oh, it's so dark. Oh my god, Serana isn't in here. Why? Where's that crazy vampire? Alright, well, <laughs> we'll figure that out. See you next time. Bye-bye. Oh,